Hey everyone, my name is Faye and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about how to score A plus in all the science subjects in SPM, whether that be chemistry, biology, or physics. At the end of the video, I will be explaining how you can purchase all my chemistry, biology, and physics notes that are perfect for your last minute revision. It'll all be at an affordable price. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more study and productivity tips as well as blogs or you can just click on the playlist here. Also, remember to turn on your notifications and set it to all so that you do not miss any future videos. As always, before we continue, comment down below which science subject is your favorite. Mine is biology which is no surprise and that is why I'm studying biology in university this year. First and the most important is that I only studied one book when I was in secondary school and that is Success by Oxford Faja. My secondary school never touched the government textbooks because my teachers literally said that they are enough for you to maybe get an A and I agree. If you want to secure an A or A plus confidently, I highly suggest that you get the Success by Oxford Faja reference book. This reference book goes much more in depth into each topic than your textbook. It also explains each concept much more clearly. It costs around 30 30 ringgit on Shopee. It's a little bit expensive, but trust me, it's a worthwhile investment. Second, how to make the best notes. The best note-taking system for any subject, especially sciences, is the Cornell note-taking system. Basically, your page is separated into three sections. Write down the main points in the largest section. Then write down as many questions as you can form in the site section. You will test yourself using these questions when you revise. This is extremely important. At the bottom section, you will write down anything extra that your teacher says or any extra information. I have gone more into detail about the Cornell note-taking system in my video titled How to Take Notes Efficiently and Fast. Make sure you check it out because this note-taking system is seriously the best and I used it for both SPM and A-levels. If you do not have time to do notes for every single page of every chapter, this is what you can do. Before you even start studying, flip through the entire chapter and identify all the processes. Once you've identified all the processes, definitions, equations, or anything else that you need to remember, draw flowcharts and diagrams. Visualizing information is especially important when you're studying science subjects because there tend to be a lot of processes, terms, and names that are very long and complicated. So visualizing them will make it much easier to remember. And it also helps simplify everything. Use different colored pens to highlight keywords. Keep it simple though, you do not want to clutter your notes with unnecessary doodles or drawings. You will accomplish two things by drawing flowcharts and diagrams. By doing this, you are not only simplifying complicated information, but you are also doing something called active studying. I explained the importance of active studying in my How to Score A Plus in Sajara video, which you can check out here. But basically, do not just highlight when you are reading from your textbook or reference book. This is called passive studying. Instead, you want to underline, draw, highlight, and visualize all the information so that it is stored in your long-term memory. This is called active studying. Here is an example using my biology SPM notes. The menstrual cycle is a very lengthy process that many students find difficult to remember. Therefore, I drew the levels of hormones and their corresponding days. When I do this, it is very easy to see that luteinizing hormone peaks at around the 12th day and so on. I also write the keywords in blue and red. I am selling these notes, so stay till the end of the video to know how you can purchase them. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you would like to support this channel, please do not skip the ad. Thank you! So, what is the right way of doing past your papers? First, time yourself. Second, if you actually do run out of time, continue doing the paper but use a different colored pen. 
Your end goal is to not have any different colored pen after a few papers. Third, when you're marking your paper, take note of the questions that you got wrong. Then, write down the answers obtained from the marking scheme in a different colored pen. You only want to reread the parts of the chapter containing questions that you got wrong. If you're rushing and there's not much time left until your SPM, this revision technique is perfect for you because you only revise the parts that you're weak at. But of course, try to reread the entire textbook one more time one week before the exam so that you can reinforce the other parts of the chapter that aren't as popular but still might be asked in your exam. Next, if you have the time, write down all the corrections in one notebook. In fact, you want to write down everything you need to remember in this one notebook, like definitions, formulas, equations, and popular questions with their marking scheme answers. This one book is the only thing you need to read right before your exam. When you write your corrections in this notebook, make sure that you write down the marking scheme answer. This is so that if the same question is asked again in your actual SPM, you will not repeat your mistakes and you will write the perfect answer. If you do not have the time to do this, just fold the corners of the pages containing corrections and revisit those pages right before your exam. Next, this tip might be helpful to you if there's not much time left until your exam. That is, spend a maximum of two or three weeks reading all the material and trying to understand it before doing past your papers all the way until your actual SPM. You will score badly if you try to blindly memorize your entire science textbook, especially when it comes to biology, and not do enough past your papers. Next, to prepare for paper 3 or experiments, you need to flip through as many trial papers, state papers, and past your papers as you can and list down all the experiments that they ask. You do not need to do them, just list them down. Then, take note of all the popular experiments and write down the marking scheme answer or reference book answer for them. You can see here in my physics notes that I wrote down the common experiments and their answers. But at the end of the day, you can't really prepare for this paper. So we've come to the end of the video. To purchase my notes, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and head on over to my second Instagram account called Faye Films Notes. The link will be in the description box or the comment section down below. All the notes are handwritten and contain things like list of popular experiments that you need to remember, list of definitions, all the processes or equations and concepts that you need to know. Basically, these notes are perfect for last minute revision or to make sure that you do not miss out on anything important. Message me on this Instagram account if you would like chemistry, biology, or physics notes. I will be posting the prices there and giving you more details on that Instagram account. If you purchase two or more subjects, I will give you a discount. I'm also thinking of selling my Sajara notes, so if enough people comment down below saying that they want my Sajara notes, I will sell them. If you have made it this far, comment down below a green color emoji. Thank you so much for your support and I'll be sure to reply you. This was a highly requested video so I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for 18,900 subscribers. There will be a special surprise when we hit 20,000 subscribers which is like crazy to me. But there will be a special surprise when that happens so make sure you tell your friends and family about my channel if you enjoy my content and ask them to subscribe. Thank you again and bye bye.